one of the most important documents in your life is your resume. It'll affect every aspect of your life. So today I'd like to talk about how to use a resume template that I created that you can find on the student portal. It's on the class content page and it's in the documents category. You should download this document and save it in three places as part of the backup rule. Okay, let's start at the top of the resume template document. If you place your mouse pointer where it says click here to enter your name, left click one time, it will activate this cell. And all you have to do is type your name. You don't have to delete or backspace. The cell is already pre-configured and formatted with special font, font size, and alignment. Next, you're going to click where it says click here to enter your town, state, and zip code. Don't use any abbreviations. You don't want to have anybody guess about the information you're trying to share with them. Now, you don't have to put your street address. And if you do use your street address, you can keep it on the same line as town, state, and zip code. Or you can have your street address on a separate line. Hit enter and put the town, state, and zip code on a separate line. This is all based on having your resume on one full page. You will follow the same procedure for entering your phone number. When it comes to entering your email address on your resume, make sure it's a professional email address. Don't use any cute email addresses or inappropriate email addresses. This is a professional document. Okay, let's talk about your summary. Your summary should be a paragraph consisting of three to five sentences. And if you use the formatting that's already in existence on the template, all you have to do is highlight the two lines underneath the word summary, the category title. And you can type over the top of that. It's already formatted with the proper font, the proper font size, and the proper alignment, which is justify. All right, let's talk about the education category now. There are three cells that are already pre-formatted for you. That is the town, state, degree, major, and graduation date. And all you have to do is left-click one time on those cells and we'll pre-format the information for you. We always start with our most recent educational experience first, and then we work our way backwards. We recommend that you don't include high school on your resume unless you're having difficulty filling one full page. Then we can use high school as what we call filler. If you'd like to pre-format a second education area, you can highlight the two lines representing education. You can do a control C to copy that information. Click underneath that line, hit enter one time, and then use a control V to paste that information. Now you can change Briarcliff College to the appropriate educational institution. And you already have duplicated the cells for town and state, degree and major, and graduation date. And this is based on your own individual education, experience, and accomplishments. But your resume should always remain on one page. As we've talked about earlier, to activate a cell, you place your mouse pointer on that cell, left click one time, and then you simply type over that information. You don't have to delete, and you shouldn't backspace. If you do that, you may eliminate the formatting of the cell. If you notice when I put in the town and state, that it is automatically right aligned for you. We want your resume to be aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So formatting is very important. And let's take some time to talk about your skills. The skills that you see on this template are representative of some of the assignments that I give in the classes that I teach. Ultimately, you have to decide what skill sets you're going to put down on your resume because you should be able to explain and you should in some cases be able to display the skill that you have. Employers want to know what can you do for their company to make them more productive and ultimately more profitable. Now it's time to talk about experience. Many of you have more than one job that you would like to represent on your resume. So we can use a copy and paste so that we use the cells that are already pre-formatted for you. 
We can highlight two lines if we'd like, but I'd also suggest you include the first bullet. Remember, keystroking sometimes simplifies the process. So rather than right click, I'm going to use keystrokes Control C, a two key combination that will copy the highlighted information. Once I do that, I'm going to move down in a location underneath my experience. I'm going to hit enter one time, move the cursor back up with my up arrow, and use the two keystrokes to paste this information, which is control V. This information now affords me the opportunity to put in two jobs that already have four cells pre-formatted. It is very important that you use corporate power words when you are describing your experience. You should use words that are appropriate for present tense or past tense. If you're currently working at a job, you should talk about, in charge of, supervise, maintain, monitor, oversee, and a host of other words that are used in the corporate environment. If you are talking about a job where you no longer work, then you have to use past tense, was responsible for, trained, with ED being the past tense. Some of this information is available on this document, so read it carefully and use it to your advantage. Finally, let's talk about how to save your resume the correct way. Click on your File tab in the upper left-hand corner. Left-click one time on Save As. A Save As window will appear. And then give your resume name, the file name that's already highlighted. Call it Resume. Use an underscore, that's a Shift-Dash key. Your last name. Use another underscore so that you're not using spaces in a file name. And then put in the date that you produced this first draft. Once you do that, save this resume template on your USB, or we call it a flash memory device, so that you have it for future use. In this case, I'm going to cancel because I already have this file, and this is strictly for a tutorial. Please be aware that resume writing is a skill. It's an art form that takes years, some cases decades, to develop. You should be patient. It'll probably take anywhere from four to seven attempts to get a perfect resume, but you have to understand the value of working on resume writing skills as early as possible in your educational pursuit of a degree. In order to compete with the best, the brightest, and the most talented anywhere on the planet, you first have to get the interview. And that's why the resume is so important.